In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to stake your Axie Infinity tokens and earn 124% APY. For more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk and I'll also put a timeline in the summary below for those of you that just want to jump to specific parts of the tutorial. So if you're currently holding your Axie Infinity AXS tokens, which may be sat idle on a wallet or over on exchange, you can stake these to earn interest, and you'll currently get up to 124% before compounding. First up though, a little bit about the AXS token. Axie Infinity Shards, or AXS, are an ERC20 governance token that were introduced in November 2020 for the Axie universe, which is the largest play to earn crypto game and allows players to collect breed, raise, battle, and trade creatures that are known as axes. AXS can be traded for on popular centralized exchanges, such as Binance, FTX, or Crypto.com, all of which I've got sign-up links in the summary below, just in case you don't already have accounts. Plus, you can also trade for these on decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap. However, I'll show you the advantage of using Binance during the walkthrough. The tokens can also be earned by gameplay, and by adding value to the network. And the excess tokens can be used as currency within the Axie NFT marketplace. They can simply be held, or they can be staked to earn even more Axie. So let's take a look at how we can stake our tokens and earn rewards. And as I said, I'll show you two different ways today. First, I'll show you how to stake using Axie Infinity's own staking option, which you can reach by heading across to stake.axieinfinity.com. And to start using this, you will need to connect up a wallet, which in this case is the Ronin wallet, the sidechain wallet for Axie Infinity. If you don't really have a Ronin wallet, I'll quickly show you how to create one. So Ronin is a web extension wallet, which is similar to the likes of Metamask. Therefore, to install this, you'll need to head across to the web store and download the Ronin wallet. Today, I've got Chrome, so I'm going to head to the Chrome store. And to make sure that you're always downloading the correct one, it's worth checking out the number of users and the different reviews. Once that's installed, you can then pin the extension so that it always appears at the top of your browser. And once that's set up and appearing, you can then get started. Where you'll then be prompted to either create a new wallet or restore an existing. I'm new, so I'm gonna set up a new one. And you'll then need to create a password and confirm it. Then create wallet where you're then prompted to write down your recovery phrase. And you'll need to write this down and keep it somewhere really safe, as essentially anyone that has access to these words will have complete control over your crypto. Once your wallet has been created, you can see here that I've got a placeholder for AXS. Plus it also supports Axie ER721 NFT tokens too. Similar to Metamask, you can connect up a hardware wallet too, which is Trezor meaning that your tokens will never leave the safety of your wallet. If you don't already have a Trezor, then I've got a promotional link in the summary below, and it will show you the steps on screen of how to connect this. I'm going to go ahead and connect up my Trezor wallet now by plugging it into my laptop. And I'll then need to allow and select an account to import from the list. And that's now connected so I can go ahead and connect my Ronan wallet. However, as it stands, I don't currently have any Axie in my wallet. If your tokens are still on the Ethereum network, you'll first need to get them across to the Ronin network. And there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can use their own Ronin bridge, which will allow you to transfer from the Ethereum network to the Ronin network. Then in here, you'll just need to enter in the Ronin address for the asset that you're transferring and the amount just be aware that you will need to pay ETH for the transaction fees to bridge this across. And at the time of this recording, ETH fees are currently very high. However, as I said, there are some benefits having bought your Axie on Binance, as you can actually withdraw these on the Ronin network without the need to bridge. So if we head across to Binance now, and under the withdrawal screen from Axie, if we copy our Ronin address wallet, and paste that into the address field here. As you can see, initially an error will appear 
and that's stating that the withdrawal address format is wrong. And it then comes up with a tip, stating that if you're transferring your asset to the Ronin wallet, you need to replace the prefix from Ronin, semicolon, to 0x, similar to the beginning of an Ethereum address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then I'm going to select the Ronin network. Now, if this is the first time you're sending a transaction to any new address, I'd really recommend sending across a test amount first, just to make sure that you didn't make a mistake. And especially when you do need to edit an address like this. The transaction costs are minimal too, so it won't cost you much to do that. So I'm going to withdraw that now to my Ronin wallet. And as you can see, those are now appearing within my wallet. So let's go ahead and stake now from the dashboard. Then in here, it shows the total amount of AXS that's been staked. And at the time of this recording, that's over 18 million, which is equivalent to $2.9 billion. And it'll also show you the estimated rewards, which right now is 124%. However, this flight does fluctuate. So I'm going to go ahead now and stake. And you'll first need to approve AXS within your wallet. When we go to confirm that within our wallet, you'll see that I need to pay a transaction fee, which they want me to pay in RON tokens. I don't have any. However, users of Axie Infinity who create a marketplace account for their wallet can currently get 100 free Ronin transactions per day. But just be aware that eventually the network will transaction to using RON for Ronin fees. So it's definitely worth creating an account here. And all you'll need to do is create a name, set up an email and password, then verify it. And as you can see, I'm now getting those 100 free transactions that I can use to approve. So I'll go ahead and confirm this now. And because my Trezor hardware wallet is connected, I'll need to allow that on my Trezor too. Once that's approved, I can now stake. Then I'll need to enter in the amount or click onto max and then click onto stake. Again, you'll need to confirm the transaction and use up some of your free transaction fees. Then I just need to confirm that on my Trezor. Once that's complete, the amount will then move from available in wallet to total staked, and you'll start earning immediately. And these rewards can then be claimed or restaked to compound. By claiming, the total rewards will go into your wallet, and they're immediately usable for breeding or exchanging. If you choose to restake, this will claim your rewards and stake them. And that means more stake in the treasury and more rewards in the future. Just be aware here though, that every time you claim rewards, either claim or restaking, you'll need to wait 24 hours before you can do another claim or restake. And you can also unstake these at any time here as they're not actually locked. So that's how you stake with Axie. However, as I said, there's more than one way that you can stake your Axie tokens and that's via Binance Earn. So if you've already bought your Axie on Binance, then this is really handy, as you can currently stake your Axie for 30 days at 115.25%. And they did even have rates up to 131.25% for 90 days. However, these are unfortunately have run out. And this is a really easy way to stake, as you simply enter in the amount and then choose to stake. However, as I said, these are limited and you'll only get these rates for the period that you've deposited your tokens for. Plus, they are also locked. Whereas with Axie, you can withdraw these at any time. Plus, you can also restake your rewards and compound your interest. But it is another option for those that you want a simpler option for staking. And as I said, if you don't already have a Binance account, I'll put my link in the summary below that will get you a discount from your trading fees. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.